हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना कवर वॉट आर एरेज इन चावा स्क्रिप्ट सो बेसिकली विद द हेल्प ऑफ एरेज वी आर गोना कवर द बेसिक ऑपरेशन दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म इन द एरेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट एस डायरेक्टली जम्प ऑन टू द वी एस कोड but before that let me tell you guys what are arrays so arrays are basically a collection of elements a collection of different elements we can say in a very simple lemon language right and yes so we are going to see like how to store or how to store uh, how to store elements in uh, uh, arrays and all that first of all let me just give you one short idea that array is collection of uh, different different we can say or same data types right data types or variables but uh, if if we if we see any other programming language in that particular programming language arrays are the collection of the elements which are having same data types but in javascript we can have array to we can our array can store the variables which might be belong to different data types right so that's the one thing and the second thing is that in arrays in javascript basically arrays are nothing but the object only because they are uh, we can represent them in the form of key value pairs as indexes and as indexes and as well as what we call that indexes and its value so let's say first of all let us see how to declare one array so let's say i am declaring array with the variable name arr and to declare array you just need to put square bracket and your array is declared right now it's a empty array right so let's say suppose i do something like this console dot log and arr and if i try to run this program see what i'm getting the empty array empty array right so the square brackets represents array in javascript not in uh, not in javascript only but in any other programming language if you see the empty array represents javascript only right but this is the most uh, efficient way to declare javascript array right so after that what i am going to do let's say we are adding something to the array so let's say i am adding numbers over here 1 2 3 4 5 7 and 8 okay let us now try to print what is array okay you are able to see i am getting my array with the values like this okay so why i previously said that my array is not an array but it is an object in javascript so let me show you by opening this particular code in our browser as well so i am just uh doing like this let's say i am linking my javascript file with the help of script tag in html uh so yeah here i am passing on the src index.js so let us just do one thing let us open this html file with the help of live server and yes we are able to see the document let us inspect this and see what we are getting in console see guys we are getting a array which is having an eight element and see here what we are getting key value pair so it is pretty natural that indexing of any array will always starts from zeroth of index so the first element belongs to zero index and after that 1 2 3 and later on the elements right so keep this in mind that indexing of array always starts from the zeroth element so first element will be treated as zeroth index right so the next thing that we can do in array is let's say i want to okay let's say i want to add some some strings in between in array so i can add that and that as well no issues let's say i'm adding dev town right i'm saving this thing and let us just go back to our array and yes you can see in the console we are getting 0 one like at zero index we have one at what index we have two at second index we have what dev town the string okay so it will not gonna give us error in javascript so if you are trying this thing in any other programming language then definitely it is gonna give you a error right so in javascript uh, array can have multiple data types of variables right so that's the thing and let's say 
how to let's say if i wanted to print the dev town only in my console so how to do that so first of all we can do simple things such as console.log and to capture any index of this array so what we are doing array after array we are passing this square bracket and in this square bracket we just need to pass the number of index so let's say i am doing array of 0 so what should i get in the in my console I should be getting the first index because indexing starts from 0th right I am running this C what I am getting 1 in my output so for that if I want to print dev town so what I need to do so this one belongs to 0th index six, uh, this 2 belongs to first index and dev town will be belonging to third in like uh, second index so second array of 2 and let us see yes see guys I am getting dev town in my output so in this particular way, you can find out what, like you can print whatever element you want to print in using this index number, right? So the next thing that I wanted to show you is, let's say if I want to know the length of this particular array, length means simply how many element th uh, this array contains. So for that, we have one simple method or simple technique is array dot length. Just simply need to pass on this array dot length and see. I'm getting nine in my output and it is right from one to eight. There are eight elements and one for dev town, right? So we are having nine elements. So it is absolutely correct answer. But see how this uh, length is been calculated. So it is simply calculated on the basis of elements and not on the basis of indexes, right? So if I, if I want to find the index of this last element, what I can do is array dot length and simple minus one. Right, if I run this, see, I'm getting 8. So this 8, number 8 element belongs to 8th index, right? So that's the thing. Okay, so I hope you guys have are understanding this thing. It's a basic match. So the next thing is, let's say I wanted to uh, place some, some another string at 0th index. So what I can do for that, I simply need to write this array of 0 and equal to whatever string I wanted to add, let's say, hello world I'm adding, hello world, pardon me for the spelling mistake, no issues, <laughs> oh my god, yes. So now let us try to print this array once again, see what I'm getting, hello world at my zeroth position, okay, hello world at my zeroth position and this two and all this remaining is same as it is but what it is doing it is it is simply replacing my first element actually if you see see one is not printed over here right so there are another methods to avoid this condition as well we can simply put the uh let's say hello world at the uh, zeroth index and this one can get uh move further bit one okay so it can traverse right to one uh, position itself okay but in this case what is happening this one is getting removed right so the next thing that we can do over here is let's say i wanted to add something to the last then in this square bracket i can simply type out array dot length minus one and we are getting the last index by doing this thing right and let's say let's run this thing so this array dot length minus one is not working over here. I don't know what happens. Okay, unexpected tech, unexpected token. It is saying. So watch. Uh, 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 uh. What what is the issue over here? Unexpected token for this. I don't know what happened, but this shouldn't happen anymore. Okay, so we can do simply like this array dot length, and let's see whether it is it it works or not and let us run this yes i am getting hello world so add index what see this is which index ninth and this is 10th index so at 10th index i am adding hello world so that's why my 8, eight is not getting replaced correct and let's say my array length is right uh, right now my array length is what uh 10 correct after after this line correct so let's say i want to add something uh, something uh, at index let's say 14 okay so currently my array length is what 10 and I want something to add at index 14 so what I can do array of 14 let's say 
and equal to oh, sorry only one equal to and let's say we are adding dev town again let let us see what does it give us right see guys what it is giving me it is saying that i have four empty items after hello world okay so uh, let, let us see how it is uh, giving us in this console log of browser so it is showing me that i have my four items empty correct so after nine there is directly 14 okay so in this case if i try to print out this uh 12 and 13 things let us try that, that thing also so after printing this array let us try to print what we have at 13th index i'm just simply saving this and let's try to run this once again okay see what i'm getting i am getting undefined as that is the empty value in my array okay so that uh, that's the thing you should also know that what uh because these tricky kind of questions are asked in the interview correct yes so after that let's say if i wanted to add if i want to add something to the array so for that we have two methods so first one is this method we can add simply by uh, writing its index name so the second one is let's say if i want to add something after the last element so for that we have one method by the name push method push method we can say it because it uh, simply consists of one method only so array dot push we can write see array dot push and in parenthesis we simply just need to write the name uh, of the name or the element which we wanted to insert so let's say we are in uh, inserting india right okay and let us try to print this array after line number 16 and let us just uh, comment this thing comment this consoles i'm simply saving this running running the program it again and yes right now you are able to see guys what i'm getting after dave town is india right so let us comment uh this line as well array 14 so that you are able to see that my element is getting inserted at last position only see after hello world i am getting india in my output i hope this thing is clear to you guys okay so the another method that we have for this is pop method right so array dot pop and in pop what we can do is let's say oh no no, no. Uh, in this uh, pop method we don't need to do anything we just simply need to write array dot pop and let's say if i console dot log right now array and let's say let's save this and see what does the uh, what does this array dot pop does it simply removes my india not my india it simply removes the last element from the array okay so let's say if i uh, try to console log right now so whatever i am getting on the first line will be my whole array which consists of india as the as the last element as well and after that it will remove this last element after this method array dot pop so I, if i am saving this see here i am getting india and in the below one array i am not getting india because it is re it is getting removed by this array dot pop method so that's the thing so i hope uh, you guys have got the idea of how this basic array methods are working and what is the particular use of this particular uh, these particular methods right so with that i am taking your leave i will see you guys in the next video if you haven't check out our web development playlist then do check out it on our dev town channel and just uh, make sure that you are bookmarking that particular playlist and you will be getting updates on daily basis whenever the new video is uploaded on that particular playlist so i hope uh, you guys have understand and i will see you guys in next video with some interesting topic until then goodbye